The king is dead. Long live the king. Welcome back, friends. Happy Monday. I hope you're all doing well. I have for you today something new and something small. Uh, and I started off the video with a little bit of hyperbole. Uh, I do beg your forgiveness. Uh, my love of the Paul Clamper is well established at this point. I'm on record as saying that all disc brakes should be clampers. So I was intrigued when I got an email from the fine folks at Velo Orange about a week ago saying that they were distributing a new disc brake from Japan. The GroTac Equal disc brake. Now, I'd never heard of GroTac. I'm sure none of you, unless you live in Japan, have likely ever heard of GroTac. But from just from the pictures, uh, the thing that intrigued me, one of the things that intrigued me, was the actual cable pull. Most of the time, when you've got a brake mounted like this, the cable is gonna pull like this. That actuator arm is gonna be on the side, and it's gonna move thusly. The actuator arm for this brake is here, and it moves this way. Now, I didn't know what, how that would affect it, but it just seemed interesting to me because I'd never seen a brake like that before. So I went ahead and ordered a pair, one to show and one to go, as you uh, might say. Uh, the, these little blue ones are for the hard tack, and then I've got a set of gray ones on the web store. They come in post mount or flat mount. They're all mechanical. And they're all short pull, uh, which means, you know, if you've got your drop bar, gravel bike, touring bike, bike packing bike, uh, they're gonna work right out of the box. Uh, and if you're gonna use them on a flat bar, uh, you're gonna need a pair of short pull brake levers. Uh, you know, Paul obviously makes the canny lever, Vela Orange has got a Grand Crew uh, short pull lever, and there's an inexpensive Tectoral lever that will actually do both. It'll do uh, linear pull brakes or cannies. So options are out there. Now what they claimed was hydraulic-like modulation and lever feel, which is bold. Uh, to say the least. And I was going to come in here today and kind of just show you the break and, and give you my initial thoughts. And I thought that, you know, that's not enough. The bridge club is here. So yesterday I took the clamper off the front of the bridge club and I mounted up one of these brakes. And unlike, and I disregarded uh, the fact that it says, uh, <laughs> read user's manual uh, right on the brake. I did not. I just pulled it out of the brake, dropped a new cable in, and, uh, I mean, 10 minutes. It was that easy. Very easy to adjust, and the feel at the lever, gotta remember, I haven't ridden the bike yet, the feel at the lever, though, is excellent. The thing that I always look for in a cable actuated brake is you want that lever to be kind of snappy. You want it to snap back. You want to feel some resistance when you start to let go of the, the lever. And these brakes have that uh, and then some. Uh, the only thing that I can even kind of pick at is the port where you put your Allen wrench into move the outside pad in or out 
it's got this little rubber plug and uh, I could see that popping out. That's the only thing that I've really, I mean, if I have to, knit, it's nitpicking, but that's the only thing I can really come up with thus far. Um, the second thing I noticed when I got them out of the box is they are significantly lighter than clampers. Now, we don't pay too much attention to that stuff, but it was noticeable when I picked the caliper up, it was like, oh my God. And I did something that I never do, which was I put each brake uh, on my postal scale. And it's, uh, you know, it's not just a little. They do come in seven colors, uh, black, silver, gray, berry, which is kind of a red, blue, gold, purple. And as far as I can tell, those color, they just do those colors all the time. So who uh, would these brakes be for? You know, somebody that wants a really nice cable actuated disc brake, maybe doesn't want to wait for clampers, uh, you know, wants a specific color, and is, you know, willing to spend a little bit of money. Like I said, they're not inexpensive, they're, but they come in at about $100 per pair, less than the Pauls. And, you know, that's not nothing. They're really nice. I'm really looking forward uh, to using them uh, as I start this process of, you know, building this hard tack. So that's the GrowTac Equal Mechanical Disc Brake. Something new. And uh, from the looks of it, really nice. You know, this would be an opportune time to click that thumbs up button and subscribe. If you haven't, uh, it's kind of common amongst uh, people who make YouTube videos that 50 to 60% of the people that watch the videos do not subscribe. You hear it all the time and it's because it's true. Uh, when you subscribe and, and like the videos that you actually like, it does help the channel. Uh, it means that the algorithm is gonna propagate this content to more people. That grows the channel and that helps me. The other thing is, um, I looked at it and this is the 125th Monday Microdose, which is kind of hard to believe that I've been able to come up with something to say 125 times. And it is a challenge. It's not something that I usually talk about, but you know, every week I got to kind of try to come up with something that you're going to want to, that you will be interested in, I guess, and that you will want to watch. Um, and one of the things that makes it easier is all the support that I get in the comments section. I've said it a million times. It's the nicest comment section in all of the internet. And uh, I really appreciate it. And it makes coming up with that stuff on a weekly basis a lot easier. So there you go. Now for something small. One of the things I got in the shipment of Blue Lug products was this X-Strap. Now, I mean, obviously I'd never used one, but it looked uh, handy, it looked useful, it came in a bunch of colors, and, I, and it was relatively inexpensive, and I thought, meh, we'll give it a try. So I've been using one, um, and it is handy. Uh, it's basically replaced a cargo net for me. Now, I've got it on the Truckosaurus with that giant walled delivery basket. So, you know, that that basket's like, you know, that deep. Uh, it's gonna take a lot to bounce something out of that. But uh, the thing that I like about it is that when I go, you know, my mail comes to a kind of a central location. And then when I go to pick it up, you know, I throw it in the basket. And because, you know, I can mount this, right down at the bottom, and then I slide the mail underneath it, and uh, it doesn't blow out of the basket. So big things, small things, and uh, 
as you'll see, or the, it, you know, it allows you to, I've carried bottles upright, you kind of wrangle the straps around and uh, it's just a really handy thing to have. Maybe doesn't replace a cargo net, but you can use it in, sometimes in, in place of a cargo net, I don't know. But I've found it very useful and uh, maybe you will too. And I'll put that link down in the description. I hope something good happens to you today. Till next time, be nice, work hard, ride bikes, play music when you can. I'll talk to you soon.